Why are desserts so dry? It's a question that has intrigued scientists and explorers for centuries. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of arid regions to understand the factors that contribute to their lack of rainfall. Deserts are vast expanses of land characterized by extreme aridity, with very little precipitation throughout the year. They cover about one-third of the Earth's land surface and are found in diverse regions, from the Sahara in Africa to the Mojave in North America. Deserts can be hot or cold, but what they have in common is their low annual rainfall. Understanding the reasons behind this lack of rainfall is key to unraveling the mysteries of these remarkable ecosystems. One of the primary factors contributing to the dryness of deserts is the rain shadow effect. When moist air from an ocean or a large body of water encounters a mountain range, it is forced to rise. As the air ascends, it undergoes a process known as adiabatic cooling, where the decrease in atmospheric pressure causes it to cool down. This cooling leads to condensation, forming clouds and releasing precipitation on the windward side of the mountain. As a result, areas facing the ocean or water source receive ample rainfall. However, the story changes dramatically on the leeward side of the mountain. As the air descends, it experiences a diabatic warming due to the increasing atmospheric pressure. This warming causes the air to become drier and lose its moisture content. Consequently, when the air reaches the opposite side of the mountain range, it has become significantly warmer and devoid of the moisture it initially carried. This stark contrast creates a rain shadow effect, where the leeward side of the mountain experiences little to no rainfall. The presence of rain shadows plays a crucial role in the formation and persistence of deserts around the world. These arid regions are often found adjacent to mountain ranges, with the mountains acting as barriers to the moisture-laden air. The rain shadow effect helps explain why certain areas, despite being geographically close to water sources, can exhibit extreme aridity and sparse vegetation. Another important factor contributing to desert dryness is the presence of subtropical high-pressure zones. These zones are located at approximately 30 degrees latitude in both the northern and southern hemispheres. Within these areas, the atmospheric pressure is relatively high, and as a result, the air descends from higher altitudes. This descending motion creates stable atmospheric conditions that suppress the formation of clouds and hinder rainfall. As the air descends, it undergoes compression, leading to an increase in temperature. The warming of the descending air inhibits the condensation process necessary for cloud formation. Without the presence of clouds, the likelihood of rainfall decreases significantly, resulting in arid conditions commonly associated with deserts. The subtropical high-pressure zones are often characterized by clear skies and sunny weather, as the descending air inhibits the formation of both rain-producing clouds and other types of cloud formations. These stable atmospheric conditions contribute to the dryness of the surrounding regions and the persistence of desert environments. Understanding the impact of subtropical high-pressure zones is crucial in comprehending the distribution and characteristics of deserts worldwide. By influencing atmospheric dynamics and precipitation patterns, these zones play a significant role in shaping the aridity and unique ecosystem of desert regions. The presence of cold ocean currents can significantly contribute to aridity in coastal desert regions. One prime example is the California current along the western coast of North America. These cold ocean currents have a cooling effect on the air above them, influencing the moisture content and subsequent rainfall patterns. Cool air has a lower moisture holding capacity compared to warmer air. When the cold ocean currents cool the air, it reduces the potential for evaporating from the ocean surface. As a result, the air that reaches the adjacent land mass is already relatively dry. The combination of the cool ocean currents and the resulting dry air creates an environment conducive to desert conditions. 
The lack of moisture in the air restricts the formation of clouds and precipitation, contributing to the arid nature of coastal desert regions. The impact of cold ocean currents on coastal desert aridity is not limited to the California current. Similar dynamics occur in other regions where cold ocean currents exist. These currents play a crucial role in shaping the climate and ecosystem of coastal desert areas, influencing factors such as temperature, humidity, and precipitation patterns. By understanding the influence of cold ocean currents on aridity, we gain insights into the complex interactions between oceanic and atmospheric processes, ultimately contributing to our understanding of the formation and maintenance of coastal deserts. Latitude plays a significant role in determining the dryness of deserts. Many deserts are predominantly found in the subtropical regions which are located around 30 degrees latitude in both the northern and southern hemispheres. These regions experience distinct atmospheric patterns influenced by global wind circulation, such as the trade winds. In some tropical desert regions, the trade winds converge and descend, leading to the warming of the air. As the air descends, it undergoes a diabatic warming due to the increasing atmospheric pressure. This warming inhibits the formation of clouds and, consequently, reduces the likelihood of rainfall. Furthermore, subtropical desert regions often exhibit low humidity levels, which further contributes to the aridity. The descending air from the trade winds not only warms up, but also leads to increased moisture evaporating from the land surface. As a result, the air becomes drier and lacks the necessary moisture content for significant rainfall. The combination of descending air, adiabatic warming, and low humidity levels creates an environment that is inhospitable to regular rainfall, resulting in the characteristic aridity of subtropical deserts. Understanding the role of latitude and global wind patterns provides valuable insights into the climatic factors shaping desert ecosystems and helps explain the prevalence of arid conditions in subtropical regions around the world.